I'm here to call out the bluff of the Proud Boys and the so-called parents' rights groups in Glendale. Uh, I grew up in Burbank, spent over 20 plus years in Burbank. Um, I just want to say right now, uh, y'all don't give two shits about uh, children and uh, holding groomers accountable. You know St. Finbar in Burbank on Olive Boulevard or Olive Avenue? Yeah, I was molested there when I was 11 years old in Sunday school. You know what they fucking did? They took us across the fucking street to this mysterious fucking building. This mysterious fucking green uh, brick building. And you know what was in there? It's just like a chapel and a bathroom and a classroom. And you know what the fucking goddamn, uh, you know, I guess so-called principal of the Sunday school would do? She would molest us there. Where the fuck were any of you when that happened? When I needed fucking justice? The Catholic Church in particular has a $4.4 billion industry to bail out pedophile priests and pedophiles in the Catholic Church. What they do is when such an occurrence happens, if the child even speaks out in the first place, they, they fundraise, they have community fundraisers and they bail out these priests. They pay their court fees. And when the pressure is too much, they relocate them to another church. Sometimes in the same city, sometimes in another city, sometimes in another state, sometimes in another country. Look up Brendan Smith. It took 50 years, 50 plus fucking goddamn years for them to fucking hold him accountable. You realize that there are over 800 plus cases of child molestation in the Catholic Church? Uh, as far back as the 1940s, and I say eight, 800 plus, because we don't know how many there really are. There's probably more. Where the fuck were you throughout all of that? And it's still going on today. You know, the state of Arizona, aside from the Catholic Church, the state of Arizona has made it impossible now through a court ruling, uh, through a Supreme Court ruling, to not hold the fucking Mormon Church accountable for child sex abuse. Where were you when that happened? And by the way, I'm talking about Glendale, California. Y'all have some fucking complicit ass pedo motherfuckers in Glendale, Arizona now. So where the fuck were you? Y'all don't get two goddamn shits about protecting children from groomers. If you were, there would be fucking armed men and women and non-binary people outside of these churches ready to gun down and execute and lynch these fucking goddamn pedophiles in the Catholic Church. Where were you? Where are you? Why are you fucking silent on the fucking pedophiles in the church? Where? Where? I want answers. Where? Where are the fucking locked and loaded motherfuckers, these fucking proud boy, patriot front, little fucking piss ass fucking traditionalist movements in front of the churches? Where? I want to know. I want answers. Because y'all are so complicit, y'all are so complicit that you're actually missing the fucking point. I've been an advocate for holding the Catholic Church accountable for child sex abuse for over a decade. I finally fucking came out to people about what happened to me when I was 11 a decade ago. And I was 21 then. You realize how devastating it was to have to fucking keep that to myself for so long? And can you imagine other children who have to go through that? What about other people in the community? Not even just the church, right? What about police officers? What about teachers? There's oftentimes where teachers, especially, okay, and actually, here's a really good example here. Oftentimes, a female teacher will molest young, you know, like, teenage boys. And, the, and when the teenage boys finally come out, they'll say some bullshit like, oh, well, he was lucky. He got, he got the fuck a hot teacher or something like that. Which, by the way, is extremely sexualizing of children. It is, it is literally putting the child in a sexual fucking context. Where are you when that shit happens? What about when a police officer rapes a, a, a rape victim? There's been plenty of cases where, your, where the test kits for rapes that, that you, even when they fucking get fucking tested in the first place, those rape kits are, are still there, like, like waiting. There's over 800 plus rape kits nationwide at any given time, untested, unresolved. 
and sometimes police officers go to their houses and actually rape them themselves on the pretense that the, ra that the rape victim is somehow promiscuous. My friend, you don't give two shit about holding pedophiles accountable. Where are the locked and loaded motherfuckers actually murdering pedophiles? Where? I want to know. I want an answer. Because I'll tell you this. You're all a bunch of fucking pussies. You don't want to go up against the Catholic Church because they got money. They, they own a goddamn country. It's called the Vatican Church. You don't want to go up against the police because they have extrajudicial powers against you. You don't want to go up against the teachers because they are literally teaching your children. They are the literal backbone of this fucking infrastructure. Y'all are fucking cowards. This fucking anti-woke bullshit is the most cringe, fucking pussy-ass fucking bullshit I've ever fucking seen. It is the most fucking, like, I'm going to be complicit with what is going on mentality ever. Never going to challenge anything. Never going to critically analyze anything. Critical thinking. Thinking for yourself. Understanding that maybe things aren't right the way they are. It is the most complicit fucking bullshit thing I've ever fucking seen. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself, and honestly, like, let's just be real here. If your life mission was really to fucking save children from groomers, you'd do all of the shit that I just fucking said. You'd kill the fucking Catholic priest. You'd kill the fucking police. You'd kill the teachers that are molesting children. But where are you? Where? I want to know. There's a fucking demo that's going to happen at the Glendale Unified School District on the 20th, where so-called parents' rights groups, actually, they're the Proud Boys, let's be real here. So-called parents' rights groups are going to go to, to go to the Glendale Unified School District to try to bully the fucking members and staff of that fucking institution to ban LGBT rights and trans kids from school. Where are you when we need to hold the Catholic Church accountable? And let me tell you something, y'all don't deserve to be near children. I would lock you up in a cage, specifically, like the Proud Boys and shit. I would lock you up in a cage, and if you were falling asleep, I'd have a rusty metal fucking bar, and I'd wake you up occasionally, just to make sure that you were sleep deprived. You don't deserve to be around children. You deserve to be fucking far away from children. Maybe, dare I say, like, away from fucking society. Because we all know that y'all are ready, salivating, to go on another mass shooting. We all know, like, the types of people who are going to mass shootings, or doing mass shootings, are these people who are showing up at Glendale Unified School District. Right? I mean, like, Allen, Texas. Think, look at, look at what happened there. Look at what happened in Waco, Texas. Look at what happened, like, in, in all of these fucking places. It's always these fucking neo-Nazi piss babies who think that they are, the, like, the, like the, you know, the high and mighty motherfuckers. I don't know, dude. Where was, where was my lynch mob for them, for the fucking church? Where was my lynch mob when I was molested in St. Finbar? Where? I want to know. Where? When are we going to fucking take action against pedophiles? And when are we going to stand for trans rights? When? When are we going to stop pretending? When are we going to stop LARPing that transphobia is, an, is, is, is anti-pedophilia? When are we going to stop LARPing that shit? Because y'all are a bunch of fucking pussies. 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 You wouldn't go up a fucking pedophile if you, if you tried. And let me just say right now. Groomers, they're in places of hierarchy. You don't get, you don't have the ability to groom a child if you are not like, you know, a trusted member of the community at a very high-ranking level. That's why the fucking Catholic Church is a hierarchy. The police is a hierarchy. Teachers are a hierarchy, etc., so on and so forth. You all are a bunch of fucking pussies. You wouldn't know a groomer if it was in front of you. Proud Boys are a bunch of fucking worse fucking pieces of shit. Bunch of piss babies. That's what PB actually stands for. Piss babies. Pathetic bitches.